Hello everyone. So tonight I went to a movie theater, of course, in Irvine, California. It's a theater that really only plays independent films, foreign language movies, a lot of Bollywood films, and documentaries. And tonight I saw a documentary film called Glenn Campbell, I'll Be Me. And it's a film that's been playing there for a couple weeks now. So out of curiosity, I went and, go, went and saw the film because Honestly, I don't know much about the life of Glenn Campbell. I know he is one of the greatest country music stars, and I know that he was in the 1969 version of True Grit. I believe in the remake, his part was played by Matt Damon. But, you know, I love True Grit, and that's really all I knew about him. And I was hoping, going to see this movie, I was hoping, okay, it would be a documentary film. I didn't know much about it. I just knew it would probably be a documentary film about this man's whole entire life. Because, to be perfectly honest with you, I thought Glenn Campbell passed away a few years ago, maybe five, ten years ago. But to my surprise, he is very much alive. And with this film, it wasn't the documentary film I, was, I thought I was actually going to see. Because what this film really examines is what happened to him in 2011 and 2012. It's kind of a concert movie. At the same time, it is a documentary, uh, rock documentary film about him, or country music documentary film about him. Because it examines what happens to him in 2011 with when he and his recent wife announced the fact that he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. And so we learn about this, we learn about his struggles. At the same time, he, he is not giving up. His, his last album is going to get released, and so him and his family are all going to, on tour together for his final tour. Because in his band, he's got two sons and a daughter from his recent marriage in the band. They play guitar, drums, and keyboard, and, and banjos, and all this stuff. And through this documentary, yes, we get a glimpse of his past and what he's done in his life, working in the music business and the television business. Not so much in True Grit. They, don't, they mention a little bit about True Grit, but they don't really get into, into too much detail about that. I was hoping that they would do that, but they didn't. They more examined on what was happening to him in 2011 and 2012 as he goes on more than a hundred uh, uh, venues and, 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 and performances throughout the entire year of, I believe, 2011 and 2012. And we get to see a behind-the-scenes look at that tour, how his family is dealing with the disease, and how he is dealing with the disease, and how it's not bringing him down, that he's still enjoying life. And as a person that knew nothing, really, a lot, nothing, I didn't know much about Glenn Campbell at all. I felt like I was actually learning uh, about a human being. Not, not a country star, not a movie star, but a family man, a father, and a husband, and a regular human being that was suffering a, 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 an awful, awful disease. And what's so great about the movie is that we, as, as an audience member, can connect to him on that human level. We can see his struggle, we can see his love for his wife and his children. And I was so happy. I was watching this film, and I'm like, I, I didn't know that this was going to happen. I thought we were going to get not a generic documentary, life documentary about this movie, but I didn't expect to get the film that we got. I didn't know that he announced in 2011 that he had Alzheimer's disease. I didn't know that. I didn't know about much about his life. There are some nice scenes where this family reunion, where you get to see his brothers and his sisters. He was he was uh, he was born. He, you know, he, uh, he, he, he had like 12 siblings, or he was one of 12 siblings. And, and so he's got lots of family, and we get to meet some of his kids from his other marriages. And, and of course, we really get to know his children that he had with his recent wife. We get to know his recent wife. And uh, this was just an incredible documentary that really moved me. And I wasn't familiar at all with the, the music of Glenn Campbell, so... That was kind of nice to learn about that too, as we are going on tour with him, we are meeting his tour manager, the people that, that transport him from place to place, and you see this really great family, this really amazing family unit, and the movie is extremely touching uh, with, with, with its subject matter and how it tackles the sub subject of Alzheimer's and all the amazing things that Glenn Campbell did and is doing with his life. And it's just an amazing film that I was completely shocked by. I, 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 you know, again, I thought I was getting one thing, and I got something even more important. I really like that. When I go and see a film that I don't know much about, but I think, okay, it's probably going to be this, and then it turns out to be something, something more special. And I was really uh, quite, 
uh, touched by this movie. It's it's a great film. If it's, if you're someone like me who who doesn't know much about the life of Glenn Campbell, and you want to feel like you want to learn something about somebody or or uh, want to see a great example of of uh, what, what one person and one family's uh, how they deal with with, with uh, the uh, this disease and how they get through life, and it's just amazing. It's it's totally amazing that that he was so vulnerable to go on stage and perform at the same time he was struggling with uh, with with losing it all, and it really helped him. I think you know the power of music really helped him to get through this disease. And it's just amazing. I mean, I, I was so shocked by this movie, and 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 I I, I really I really did enjoy it. And and if you're a fan, you probably did see him live on his final tour. But I think this is a, a, a great, a, a great capsule of his life, especially the last few years of his life. He's still alive, but in his life in 2011, 2012. I think it's just a great time capsule to hold on to that his family can appreciate, that his fans can appreciate, and someone like me that's not really aware of him. Can and can can discover him kind of for the first time, and all the amazing things that he's done in his life through music and through television, and him as a humanitarian, and and what he's doing uh, to make people more aware of Alzheimer's disease. So I was completely moved by this film, and I would highly recommend. It's a great documentary. I don't know how you can go see it. Hopefully someday it'll be on Netflix streaming or some sort of site where you can actually watch it. Uh, again, if you if you don't know much about Glenn, it's a great film. And if you're a big fan, it's something you probably want to have in your collection and, and share for the rest of your life and enjoy his music. I'm definitely, uh, when, I, when I'm done with this review, I'm going to go check out the music of Glenn Campbell and learn more about his life and, his, uh, and the amazing things he did to, to get over his struggles and his amazing family. Uh, uh, I, I really like this documentary as well because I felt like we got to know his family. And it was really great. Uh, another uh, a great film where we get to uh, know about the man as a performer and as a human being. There's a lot of humanity in this movie as we get to know about the life uh, of Glenn Campbell. And I'm glad to be shocked that he is still alive. I'm happy that he's still alive and that his family members can go and visit him. I believe I checked on IMDb and it says that in 2014 he is now in a home. So I'm hoping that his family can go out and visit him from time to time and and, and his music and his life, uh, through his music and through the stuff that he did on television and the movies, will be around forever, long after all of us are, are gone. So, surprisingly, uh, amazing film. I think this is a great documentary. Uh, it's a great concert film, and I bet there, hopefully there might be an extended cut where we get to see more performances of his final tour, maybe through deleted, deleted scenes or, or maybe a whole concert movie. I would love to see a whole concert movie of, his, uh, uh, of what I just saw right now because it was just really interesting to see these little tidbits of you know of him being on stage even though he was struggling a little bit it didn't let him get the better of him and just the nice moments between him and his family were were pretty astonishing to see as well and for that i am going to give glenn campbell i'll be me i'm going to give it a solid three and a half stars out of four i'm movie man chat please like comment subscribe to my channel i'm also on twitter and i'm on facebook and please go to welovefilm.com and subscribe right here on youtube to we love film also go to long beach acting and film association right here on facebook and twitter Please also go to moviepile.com, and if you've seen this film, let me know what you thought about it. What do you think about Glenn Campbell? Do you know much about him? Are you a fan? Let me know uh, in the comment box below how you feel about Glenn Campbell and his life. And in the meantime, have a great day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful life, and I'll talk to you in my next movie review. Bye, everyone. Peace be with you, my friends.